All right, unit nine, acids, bases, and salts. All right, so one of the earlier things we talked about was electrolytes. Electrozyte, electrolytes dissociate when dissolved in water and then conduct electricity, which is why they're called the electrolytes. Electrolytes are acids, bases, and salts are electrolytes. All right, so the main theory that uh, we talked about for talking about acids and bases was Arrhenius theory. Arrhenius theory tells us that acids yield sorry, yield protons, H plus ions, as the only positive ions in solution. And you have to remember that H plus and H3O plus are used interchangeably. Bases yield hydroxide, OH minus, as the only negative ions in solution. Okay? Uh, generally, acids are going to be H something, kind of like they are here on table K. Everything starts with an H. Organic acids are usually written with the H at the end. Bases are going to be something, some sort of metal, OH, as shown here on table L. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. Ammonia is a little bit different, but that is also a base, an H3. And then don't make the mistake, remember, organic alcohols end in OH, but they are alcohols, not bases. All right, so acid plus base makes salt and water. Okay, that is a neutralization reaction. It's a special kind of double replacement reaction. So an acid, HCl, plus a base, NaOH, is going to make, right, the hydrogen replaces the sodium, HOH, which is water. And NaCl, which is salt. That's a neutralization reaction. Lab we did was a titration, which is a lab or a method of determining the molarity which was the concentration of an unknown acid or base. Okay, on table T, you see MAVA equals MBVB, molarity of your acid times the volume of your acid, equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base, and we did that in class. There's another acid-base theory, the Bronsted-Lowry. Defines acid as a proton donor and a base as a proton acceptor. pH. Scale 7 is neutral. Greater than 7 up to 14 
is basic lower than 7 is acidic. For every change of 1, pH becoming 10 times more basic if you're going to the right or acidic if we're going to the left. Okay? Acidic means higher concentration of H+. Basic means higher concentration of OH-. So let's say we're going from a pH of 7 to a pH of 9, became 10, right, times 10, to go from 7 to 8, times 10, to go from 8 to 9, so that would be a hundred times more basic, or a hundred times less acidic. If we go from 10 all the way down to 3, it's going to be 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 to the 7th power, more acidic. Remember, 10 to the 7th is 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So 10 million times more acidic. And finally, pure water is neutral, a pH of 7. Right. Table M. Reference table is going to show common indicators for acids and bases. We look at table M. I right, see here methyl orange. If your pH is 3.1 or lower, it will be red. If it's 4.4 or greater, it will be yellow. In between, you'll get some sort of mixture. All right. Phenolphthalein, if the pH is less than 8, no, 8 or less, it will be colorless. If it's 9 or more, it will turn pink. In between, it will be varying shades of a very, very light pink. So your indicators below the lower range for each one, it will be the color on the left. Higher than the upper range for each one, it will be color on the right. In between, it will be some sort of mixture. That's the end of Unit 9, Acids, Bases, and Salt. One left to go. I will see you guys in school.